بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Director General also of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, His Excellency Lee Yong. Distinguished guests, I wish you a pleasant evening to start with. I also warmly welcome you to the inaugural edition of the Global Manufacturing and Industrialization Summit, especially those of you who are visiting our country for the first time. UAE Ministry of Economy is proud actually to introduce this inspiring initiatives in cooperation with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, the UNIDO. We are eager to work hand in hand with all of you in formulating a roadmap for the transformation of industrial development throughout the world one that takes into account society and the environment, and that upholds the welfare of humanity above all. Ladies and gentlemen, manufacturing is central to the growth and resilience of the country. It generates jobs, supports, and creates industries, both small and large, and also drives international trade. Manufacturing also has a profound effect on society inspiring innovation and productivity, eradicating poverty, and bringing prosperity to where it's mostly needed. Today, the UAE might not be the first place that springs to mind when you think of manufacturing. Perhaps to be hosting this important event, but we are also stand here on the cusp of a fourth industrial revolution. It is nations like the UAE which have the most to gain, the most to offer, amid, amid rapid changes in the manufacturing sector. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, said last year that within the next 50 years, we should celebrate the UAE's last barrel of oil. His confidence in our bright economic future will be realized by the UAE becoming the global hub for the fourth industrial revolution, the technological movement that is transforming the way we live, the way we work, the way we interact with one another. Our economic diversification efforts has been actually prioritized and we gave an, a very important actually aspect to the manufacturing. We actually aim to raise its contribution to the national GDP, that is manufacturing to the GDP, up to 25% by the year 2025. We are actually a country that can, through our size and our wealth, embrace innovation in everything we do. We can build the industries needed for tomorrow, not for today. We will train our citizens to be proficient in the highly skilled jobs of the future and not the past. We can adopt the newest management techniques harness the latest technologies, build the most modern infrastructure. We have the vision to achieve this, and we have also the will. We also boast a strategic location that has made us the de facto capital of the new Silk Road. This is a thoroughly modern highway, a mesh of sea lanes, airports, logistics hubs, and also infrastructure that connect the emerging economies of China and India, which are actually to our east, with the developed world, both actually in Europe and also in North America. Those connections are not just physical. It brings a convergence of ideas as much as goods, and we are at it in our heart, actually. Here in Abu Dhabi, there is a strong appreciation for social and environmental significance of new models for manufacturing. The adoptions of various green practices and policies, alongside the introduction of strong environmental legislation, promises to make the UAE a model of sustainable industrial development. Of course, it's not just Abu Dhabi leading the way. With global initiatives such as MASTER and STRATA, the Dubai Industrial Strategy 2030, launched in 2016, prioritized a number of sectors for investments including airspace, maritime, pharmaceuticals, medical equipment, fabricated metals, and related machinery and equipment subsectors. 
The inauguration of the world's first fully functional 3D printed building in Dubai last year also portrayed how innovation is a hallmark of local and national initiatives geared toward industrial development. Today, Abu Dhabi Strata has tied up with Siemens and also with Etihad Airways to develop the region's first 3D printed aircraft interior parts. Yet another example of the UAE piloting new technologies within the global manufacturing sector. At the national level, our government is promoting new perspectives on the importance of the manufacturing sector to attract talent, especially Emirati youth. We seek to attract 70 billion US dollars in the new industrial investments by the year 2025. The upcoming UAE foreign investment law, which promote further industrial expansion, and we will also continue developing policies that facilitates the global partnership that give our manufacturing sector a competitive edge while we positively impacting our society. Ladies and gentlemen, the Global Manufacturing and Industrialization Summit is the platform that allows voices like ours to be heard. Nations on the cusp of major changes who have the ambition and the right to play a major part of the fourth industrial revolution can make a significant impact. It is actually our honor to host you here as you set out a clear path for the future of the most important pillars of our inter interconnected globalized economy. I would like to extend my gratitude to all of you for sharing the United Nations vision of a world that actively pursues growth for the good of all mankind. I want to thank you for being us with here and I wish you also the best or productive of the summit ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.